what's up guys? This is Ruffer with Ruffer Racing coming at you from Coda again. We were here just a couple of weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, uh, but now we're back with uh, Chin Track Days. Uh, this is Friday. We just got done kind of unloading the cars. We have the new rig here, the new Ruffer Racing Club rig. Uh, you guys will get to see it. I'm super pumped about it. It's actually a really great rig to get six, six seven cars around. Uh, so it kind of simplifies our travel, you know, our travel logistics and it just makes it a much cooler and, and better way to travel with the cars, a lot safer and a lot uh, a lot better uh, for for just for us to be able to move around so uh, really excited about tomorrow it's supposed to be a hundred again uh, like it was in July August when we've been here uh, but it will be a hundred degrees tomorrow and Sunday so there's a little it's gonna rain at least that part is good but really excited to get going we have a whole uh, I think it's eight cars uh, eight drivers in their garages so we have three McLaren's and five Porsches uh, so we'll outnumber this trip but we have Al with his 765 LT a thousand horsepower tuned car that's an absolute piece. A couple of the GT4s. Uh, the one GT4 you guys haven't seen yet on the track and we haven't tested it out. So we're going to shake it down. It should be in good condition. Um, it's been competing in the GT4 series already. So it should be in perfect condition. We've inspected it, ready to go. Uh, but really excited. I got my brother-in-law, Martin, for the first time in the GT4. We also have Paige and the usual Sean and Ray. So I'm just really happy that we have a full garage, eight people, eight really great drivers. Uh, we are missing Hallie, which is the one thing that she's, she, she wasn't able to make it, but she hopefully will be back in a couple of weeks uh, for our next event. But really excited to have a full garage again and uh, looking forward to tomorrow. I'm uh, actually Raphael's brother-in-law. I've actually been out here several times as a passenger, so I got to learn the line. Couldn't wait to get behind the car, so uh, today's my first time. Uh, I'm gonna have two days, Saturday and Sunday, tracking a, a Porsche GT4. And uh, so far I've had two sessions out there. It's looking good, getting more comfortable about it. I'm learning all the, all the flags. It's also uh, working on how to signal people to pass but I'm pretty sure that will change uh, as I get out here more often. So, very excited about it. I just got done with my first session, went really well. Just got the jitters out, kind of shook the car down, everything feels good, so I'm gonna start pushing it the next few sessions. Um, it is cool to have a whole crew here. We have Al, Ray, Sean. Sean's daughter, actually, Bree, decided to, on the spot, they had an uh, instructor available. She decided to jump in and try tracking for the first time, which is actually pretty cool. Um, we have uh, Martin and Paige. It's Paige's first time with Chin and uh, Martin's first time ever tracking as well. So we have a full crew. We have uh, Daniel with spe uh, Finn Speed and then also another buddy of ours right here. He's a local guy from, uh, from Austin. So everybody looks like they're having a good time and ready to go. Oh, hello again, it's Ray Ramirez with Rafa Racing Club. Today we're at the Circuit of Americas. Uh, today's objective was to get Raphael a little bit more training on what we call close quarters uh, racing. That means that he takes the lead role and I'm literally right on his back, no more than two or three feet away. The objective of that is to have Raphael get a sense of where the car is, where I am, and not look back in the mirrors. The objective is for me to move around the, alongside of him, close to him, so where he can sense me. He did very well. We mixed it up, inside, outside, close quarters. Although he's not looking in the mirrors to find me, he can sense me on the left. He can sense me on the right side of him, and he can sense me close to him. That was our objective, and we did a good job doing it today.
My name is Kevin Duran. Um, I was the winner of today's track day with Rafa. I actually didn't knew him before, but I've been following him through Instagram and it's just been really amazing to be able to meet him in person. And not only that, he was able to take me into the track for here in Coda. Let me tell you, it was insane. I have no idea how not only fast he could go, but what really surprised me the most was the braking. Rafa did it amazing. I am surprised and I'm very happy and excited. So let's go and let's go Rafa Racing Club. Amazing. Thank you. Wow. I'm speechless. <laughs> I am. So, so. quite a while now and today I decided to start driving myself in his GT3 RS and I love it it's definitely something that I want to continue doing more often I'm hoping to get my own car soon I wasn't really nervous when I first started I was actually really excited that I couldn't sleep last night I think the biggest part that I struggled with was definitely braking, forcing myself to like push the pedal hard enough to actually come to a stop. Now that I got the hang of it, it's not that bad. This was my only day I'm going to be tracking this weekend, but I'm definitely going to be back very soon, hopefully in October, and I can't wait. All right, so this is end of day one here. It was an absolute blast. It was super hot, but at the end of the day, you know, we got to drive all day. The cars were great. Ready to call it a night, get some good night sleep, get something to eat, and just be back tomorrow morning. Again, his Sunday session for the chin track days. I just got back from my first session. It was actually pretty fun because the tires completely went out. Had no grip, but it was a lot of fun driving, just sliding around everywhere, fighting the car the whole time. I'm working with Ray. He's in the other GT4. He's staying right behind me on my bumper, trying to basically make me uncomfortable and kind of get me comfortable with the racing environment that we're trying to kind of work towards. So uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm working with Coach Dave and just Mixing it up with Ray is a lot of fun, having him on a bumper chasing me around. It's pretty cool that the uh, marshals and everybody here is kind of letting us do it, because generally, they don't let cars get that close. They usually would blue flag you or black flag you because you guys are kind of driving a little too dangerous. Uh, but we know what we're doing. I think they know what we're doing. So it's actually a lot of fun and really good practice. Hi, I'm Al Hirschberg here at Coda. Uh, for the weekend and I normally live in Houston. I typically race here with my son Kevin But uh, he wasn't able to make it this weekend But I didn't feel alone because I was here with the Rafa racing team, which has been great fun It's been hot, but we've had a great weekend had some uh, good laps in my little orange 765 
LT that's behind us there. I met Rafa through Ray, Ray Ray. Uh, Ray Ray and I started racing together at Texas World Speedway at College Station back in the early 2000s. And we've been doing it off and on through when they closed and came here to Coda. And then I met uh, Rafa through through Ray. And so it's been my privilege to be a part of the team and looking forward to spending a lot more time together uh, here and in other tracks with, with the Rafa race team. So my name is Laurentino Rangel. I've known Rafa since college, maybe a little before college, so go Cougs. The last weekend was my son's birthday, 12th birthday, and he wanted to get in a supercar. So I reached out to Rafa, and Rafa's like, yeah, man, come on out. We show up, he opens the car, my son gets in, big smile, just nonstop, you know, glittery eye. Truth be told, I was on with a more glittery eye, bigger smile, and everything. I mean, I don't know if I'll get another experience like this, and you know how they say uh, core memory unlocked? That was today. Awesome. Hey guys, uh, so we're at the end of uh, Sunday right now. Great weekend for me. First time on the track. The uh, experience is unreal. This whole weekend, you know, couldn't be possible if it wasn't for Waffle Racing, providing the car uh, and the technicians that came out here to make sure that safety is number one. I had some family here. So great atmosphere, everybody's hanging out. Definitely gonna be back in October for the same uh, track days event.
All right, guys, so that's a wrap here. Sunday afternoon, getting ready to load up the cars. I think we have one car left, putting all this stuff in. Overall, a really great weekend. It was pretty cool to finally get the rig out about, about two months ago. We were waiting for stuff to get finalized, installed on it, and get everything ready for uh, this weekend to test it out and shake it down and come down here. Uh, it was pretty cool to have such a big turnout. We're gonna have even a bigger turnout at the end of October. We had a really great time, really good practice. Ray was behind me the entire time. I was behind him. We were staying two feet apart from each other pretty much throughout the whole course. So it was actually really good practice to simulate the racing and also get me a lot faster. So I was actually quicker today than I've ever been. I think I did a 220, 221, which is one or two seconds quicker than I had been in the past. So it actually definitely helped. I feel a lot more confident going through some of the fast corners, a lot, carrying a lot more speed through the SS. So overall, really good weekend. Super excited and happy with the way things went. As always, thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button, notifications on, tell your friends and your family. See you next time.